Ow! You are ow evil today, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, excuse me. Uh... Hmm. <coughs> How's it going, people? Well, I'm getting over the flu, which I caught right after Turkey Day. Uh, but something happened today. Uh, I'm up on Mount Hope, and the... I had a visit from the Watchtower Society. <laughs> yeah, the uh, two nice ladies drove all the way from Brownsville just to say hi to me and deliver the good word. And they used a um, they used a computer tablet. <laughs> they go, hey, could you just take a few seconds and just watch this? And then they hold it up to my screen door, and, and it was a presentation. So they don't even have to do a spiel. They just deliver, you know, the video. And... Then they noticed uh, I had I had this in my hand because <laughs> I was actually thinking about making a video on this, but change of plans. They gave me something else to uh, delve into. They I I just told them I was considering it. That's all. You know I, I wanted to know you know what the big deal is. It's the religion of peace. What's going wrong? And they told me it was the religion of the devil, and that was nice of them, you know, the Watchtower Society. I'm glad they don't do much judging. I, I did point out that Muslims have faith, and I was awfully impressed by that, and asked how many times per day they pray. And they said, all the time. We're doing it right now. So, anyway. Then I asked them about, you know, stopping the sun in the sky, and Balaam arguing with his donkey, and, um, uh, Isaiah making the uh, sundial shadow go backwards because Hezekiah had hemorrhoids and that helped him out somehow. Uh, I, I let him have it, you know. Uh, oh, you can see I was getting ready to do a Islam video. Uh, oh well. Um, so I'm going to read this first. I got to get ready. I got this for Halloween. And it came and went. So, vampire wine in its own cardboard coffin. How cool is that? All right, and let's see how I open this. Where's the, this is old fashioned or something. There's no tab or nothing. All right, I'm just gonna plow right through. Alrighty. I don't drink much vino, and I thought it might help, you know, with my condition. I am, if, I'm feeling much better. <coughs> mm. Ah. Mm. Vampire wine, and it's in a cork. And <laughs> made a job of this. Anyhow, it's a red wine, obviously. Yeah. And I hope it doesn't taste like hemoglobin. That would be awful. That ain't my scene. All right. Anyway. Um, there. Take a look at the screen. Yeah. Vampire red. And we'll read a little bit from the J-Dub book. And might even get back to it again. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> that was a good idea. Oh, damn corks. All right. I don't make a lot of videos, you can see. And I seldom plan very far ahead. It's mostly just a need to get a buzz. And to goof off. And uh, speaking of which, I'm going to try one of my old prescriptions out. It's first time all week. I'm a little bit scared, so bear with me. <laughs> ah, 
God, that was a great idea. <coughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> Just joking. <laughs> All right, let's check out the answer book. What does the Bible really teach? And you need a book to find out about that other book. Ah. Oh, and it's got some illustrations, those wonderful J-Dub illustrations. Uh, oh, I like this one. Uh, it's really nice. All right. Oh, splendid. Uh, all right. I'm just going to start with the table of contents here and s go from there. You know, I'll stop when I just can't take any more. Mm. Ah. Very nice. Chapter one. Uh, actually, no, wait, wait. There's a preface. Excuse me. Uh, is this what God proposed? And then chapter one. What is the truth about God? Two. The Bible, a book from God. Three. What is God's purpose for the earth? Four. Who is Jesus Christ? I mean, Jesus Christ, who is he? <sighs> Five. The ransom. God's greatest gift. It almost started like a sounded like a crime story at first, but it involves a homicide. Maybe ritual sacrifice of some kind. He was big on that. Uh, six. Where are the dead? All of them? <laughs> I guess they'll tell us. Looking forward to it. Seven. Real hope for your loved ones who have died. Okay, so it's just like loved ones and human beings. We're not talking about everything that's been dead, right? Which is like 99.9% .9 of everything that ever was. Isn't it anymore? All right. Uh, eight. What is God's kingdom? Nine. Are we living in the last days? Those were air quotes. I'm trying to be literal here. I think this helps a little more than the other this time around. Mm, tastes like Jesus. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I looked ahead. <laughs> that was a spoiler. Um, nine. Here it comes. Oh, not, uh, uh, ten. Here it comes. Spirit creatures. How they affect us. Is that like thetans? Just wondering. Or gin with a D. Silent D, like Django. <clears throat> Eleven. Why does God allow suffering? I could supply some possible suggestive answers. You know, I mean, since I you know, don't know this God person, or even if there is such a critter, um, I'd have to guess, but... Could be, I don't know, sadism? A little kid playing with bugs? You know, or... <laughs> yeah, pull all the legs off. <laughs> Not that I ever did that. Yeah, or anymore. Um, Twelve! I'm doing good here, aren't I? Uh, living in the way that pleases God. 
kind of foreshadowing of the afterlife. Sounds wa wonderful. Sp superfluous. Superb, I mean. Thirteen. A godly view of life. God, this is going to be a useful book. Fourteen. How to make your family life happy. Does it involve brainwashing at all? I mean tradition, excuse me. Fifteen. Worship that God approves. See, there's some people out there that are doing it wrong. They might be doing it even more than these people are, but they're still doing it wrong. And they should really read this book. Someone will show up at your door presently. Don't shoot them, please. I mean, this was too nice, you know, matronly ladies that were just concerned about me and fell in love with my cat. Um, Sixteen. Take your stand for true worship. True worship. you got to stand up for it. Hang on. This is, this is getting good. i got to... Mm, damn corks. This one's got to go. That's better. Ah. Great video. I can see why my videos run long now. And I hate editing, although I do it once in a while. <sighs> 17. Draw close to God in prayer with your ass in the air and your face on the floor. Or I don't know, maybe you could do it standing up. 18, and here's a good one. Baptism and your relationship with God. It's a lot cleaner than that Mithras uh, baptism, which involved uh, arterial spray from a bull. But, you know, you were reborn after that, too. But, you know, it's more primitive. 19. We're almost home. Remain in God's love. So we get to find out what the conditions are to do that. And there's an appendix. Something that probably isn't necessary. Might have to be removed. <laughs> All right, let's read the preface. And, and that's about it, I think, for now. Okay. Is this what God proposed? Read any newspaper. Look at television. Okay. Thank you. I'll do that. Or listen to the radio, if you insist. There are so many stories of crime, war, and terrorism. Just read the Bible uh, or the Koran. There's uh, even more there. <laughs> Crime, wars, and terrorism. You even get to terrorize children through childhood indoctrination, which keeps religion going. Otherwise, it would have gone away, like most things that become extinct for the better. Think about your own troubles. God, this is a downer. Well, I'm getting over the flu and uh, can't think of anything. I think I'm doing all right. Nice try, though. <laughs> Perhaps illness or the death of a loved one is causing you great distress. You wish. Then they could really draw you in. That's a good time to get hook them. Em. 
You may feel like the good man Job. Ew. Not without Clearasil. <laughs> He'd have to like, dip himself in Clearasil, I think. Didn't he have like boils all over his body, even in it? And his bowels were roiling, and you know, yeah, Job, there's a good one. Maybe I'll recite my old Job poem again soon. Job, who said that he was, air quotes, filled with dishonor and affliction. And that's a, a little snippet from Job 10.15, the part they needed. Ask yourself, is this what God proposed for me and for the rest of mankind? Where can I find help to cope with my problems? Because you need a crutch, don't you? Try heroin. I mean, I'm just trying to help here. Or Scientology, one of those. I don't know, heroin's probably a little cheaper. More affordable. Um, is there any hope that we will ever see peace on the earth? Well, I don't think religion's doing a very good job of helping. I have a feeling it's just the just part of life, and that's sad. <sighs> the Bible provides satisfying answers to these questions. Well, that's what's important. I I, I mean, I got religious family, and uh, someone real close to me. I don't want to get too specific because uh, admiration and all. He told me, I don't want to believe that. And it's like, oh, I see that you have a choice. But reality is still reality, no wonder, no wonder why you hate it so much. Uh, we'll look at that some more. Maybe after this migraine goes. Um, well, I'm going to close and maybe I'll do something a little different since I didn't finish my Jesus juice. Stay tuned or peace the fuck out and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Sorry to have wasted your time. But hey, you know, that's what YouTube is for. Bye.